Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a plus one second game. So in this one, we are going to be making a plus one speed every second game. So to begin with, we're going to go to starter character scripts, which is inside the starter player. We're going to add a local script to get rid of print hello world. I'm just going to name this local script speed. So now we are going to define our variables. So we're going to type local player equals game dot players dot local player. Then we need to find the character of the player. So we're going to type local character equals player dot character. So here we are defining the player. We just haven't defined the player, which is like us or in the game with a player. And then we are trying to find the character of the player, which is where all our body parts and our head and our the clothes and everything are stored when we're in the game. So next we're gonna find the humanoid, which is where things like your jumping power and your walk speed are defined. We type local humanoid equals character wait for child humanoid so now we have our three main variables defined so this isn't crucial but i would highly recommend this i am going to type humanoid dot walk speed equals one this makes it so that when you join the game your walk speed is one by default it should be 16 but this this allows us to manipulate it further and stay a little bit with the one speed games. So next we're going to make a while loop. So we're going to type while wait one second. So we're just going to type while and then a wait and then we're going to put one inside the parentheses. Do and, we, and then hit enter and an end will appear. Then just write humanoid dot walk speed plus equals one. Every second your humanoid will get one more walk speed. So now, we're going to copy these first three variables. Just press Ctrl C when you have them all selected. Then we can close out the script. So next, we need to make a GUI. So I'm going to just make a screen GUI. I'll name it Speed. Then I'll add a text label into it. I'm just put my label right here in the middle of the screen. And I'll do some simple things. So let's make it transparent in the background. Oh, uh, what text do I want? This... This one looks good. Um... Then for my text, I'm gonna write speed... Zero. So make sure you write speed zero. With a colon, and then I'm just gonna make the text scaled. Alright, there's my very simple and fast GUI. So now... We're going to add a local script, and it will say print hello world, so just remove the print hello world, and then copy your variables into the script, because these we all still need to use. So when we go down, we're going to write local text equals script dot parent dot text label. The text label is the thing that's speed zero. The font and everything doesn't matter, as long as you have a text label, it, it, that's what matters. So now we're going to go down, we're going to make another while function, we're going to type while wait one do. And now we have our while loop, and now we just have to add this, text dot text, kind of a weird way of putting it, but you can change the variable name if it is too weird, equals speed col colon, this is what we're going to do, then press space, then go out of this, and then do dot dot humanoid dot walk speed and now hit play and now you are walking incredibly slowly and over here it's updating whenever you gain your speed so by default it's 16 so we're getting faster soon it'll be 16 and oh, look, now it's 16. Oh, we're getting faster now. And this can be used in many games, like plus one second for an obby or whatever. 
if you want a part two where I, I can show you more on this, just comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Goodbye.